The human taxon Homo heidelbergensis is known to have existed for most of the past million years, dated from about 780,000 to about 130,000 years in its age where it occurs in the fossil record. The type specimen for which Homo heidelbergensis was named was a 600,000 year old lower jaw found near the city of Heidelberg in Germany in the year 1907. This lower jaw possessed a mix of features associated with Homo erectus skeletons, more primitive skeletons, and more modern features. The cranial volume of Homo heidelbergensis is at the lower range of modern humans. The face is lighter and less robust than that found in early members of the genus Homo. Postcranially, they were tall and strong. While this taxon was once considered to have only resided in Europe, it is now associated with skeletal remains from multiple sites in Africa and potentially Asia as well, including sites as far as China and India. If it is known from all three of these continents, its site of origin would then be unknown. And especially if these are the ancestors of modern humans, whether this branch of the human tree arose from Africa, Europe, or from Asia would then be in question. It was originally thought that Homo heidelbergensis represented the ancestral taxon for Neanderthals in Europe, while other taxa, such as Homo rudisiensis in Africa, gave rise to Homo sapiens. Now that Homo heidelbergensis is recognized in Europe, Africa, and Asia, it is potentially the taxon which gave rise to modern humans and Neanderthals and Denisovans in Asia. It is possible that after the original populations gave rise to all of these, that subsequent subspecies of Homo heidelbergensis gave rise to each of these three groups.